I made this. Excited. I'm looking forward to it. Extremely nervous. Hope it fits. That's the system there. Water side, not a hundred percent. I mean, I spoke to Andy last night briefly about it, yeah. and he gave me a rough idea, didn't he? Do you have a look in the back of our van? I'll go yeah, through it briefly with you, and then our engineers, when they're finished, will go through all the maintenance and everything yeah. with you. But I'll go through it briefly with you now. Okay. But it's exactly the same as what you're getting in your vehicle, yeah. okay. as regards to water purification and operation. Okay. On your vehicle, you'll have the fill and drain. Yeah. And this is pump one, pump two for this one. Just go the open outside. Allows you to lock your vehicle up while you're working away. Yeah. So, mains water in there. Mm -hmm. Keep the pipe between your mains water and the back of the van as short as possible. Okay. And you get maximum pressure into the system. Right. Yeah. Short sure as a can. Yeah. Always put your drain pipe into drain, obviously. Okay. Now, down the side. Once you've connected the mains water up and turned it on full, just just press up and down arrows together. That's it. The system will now start to fill. Right, okay. Just that top controller? Just on the top controller. Right, okay. That's all you need to do, just the two. If you want a full tank of water, leave it. It will shut off automatically on the fill cycle. It's got an electronic floating here. If you don't want a full tank of water, you can turn it off again, just by pressing those two. Okay. So if you just half a day's worth of work or something like that. There's no point carrying a full tank, is yeah. there? No, that's right. Have you used our controllers before? Uh, no, I've got a controller. It's not. A, it doesn't say pure freedom, okay, it's a streamlined. Okay. To get the controller to work, just press either the up or down arrow. It doesn't matter which one you press. And it'll bring the controller on. And then you can take the speed up to whatever you like. Down, up or down, doesn't matter. We'll leave it on 20 now, just for a little bit. Okay. How you work. Yeah. So if it's a if you run at 20 and it's fine, and you're getting the results you would like from that flow of water, then leave it there. Keep it. If you need it a bit higher, then so be it. Right, okay. Okay. If you press if you press the right hand arrow once, it brings the battery on. Yeah. Okay. Got 11.8. This vehicle hasn't got a split load on it at the moment. It's got one mounted on it but it's not wired up, because right. this system is coming out soon. Okay. Okay. So it's 11.8 on this one. Um, if you press and hold the right hand arrow, it turns it off. Up and down arrow brings it on, and it was at 20. It's already preset. It remembers the settings. So whatever setting you left it on, it will stay it on there. Right and arrow just turns it off. That's it. But the engineers will go over it with you again when it's all, when it's all done. So it's your van, you'll be familiar with your vehicle. Yeah. I'll just run through the water purification yeah. cycle with you. Yes. Round the back. Mains water on, fill cycle running. Right. Okay. The mains water comes in. On your vehicle, we've got black covers. Black covers. Okay. On this one, it comes through the right hand uh, blue filter first. That's a sediment filter. Then it goes through a carbon filter. Yeah. They're both 20 inch filters. Then it goes through the RO membrane. 
And these pre-filters, they look after the RO membrane. So we recommend you change those every three months. And they're about £30 delivered to you, including the VAT. So, from yourselves, yeah, from right. us, yeah, yeah. So, can I just say, sorry, yeah. I'm going to buy some before I go because I need some. 60 quid. Yeah. Yeah, I'll. I'll, so, I'll yeah. I told him 30 quid to live, I told him <laughs> 60 <laughs> quid. I believe he's on it. It gets muffled sometimes. Yeah, like, yeah, the bloody yeah. mics are real. <laughs> yeah, 100 quid. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have played that back when he got over that bloke. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Just having a bit of fun with the camera, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Um, so it goes through the RO membrane yep. and then through the deionising filter and into the tank. Right, okay. and it will automatically shut off. Uh, when it's full. So I can quite happily leave this plugged in overnight. Lock it up. Not worry. Get it, yeah. Good. The only thing you've got to worry about is uh, in freezing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Which you have a plan for anyway, don't you? I do. Well, tell, tell us about that. What did plan. you do? The idea is, is to have an electrical point mounted on the bumper. Yeah. So I could, that can be plugged in overnight, which leaves like what you've got over on the right there, yeah. actually. A plug socket in there leave a heater in overnight and then that should be fine because yeah. I do worry about the doors when I have the cable going in between the doors and I close them up at night if you look at the bottom of the door there's, there's a little soft bit there yeah and you can get your cable through there oh I see oh right do you know that bit always annoyed me but now it's going to be my best mate <laughs> 